Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is gonna be another amazing video. Uh, just so you guys know, I love Japan. I love Japanese culture, people, uh, kitchen, everything. I love everything about Japan. It's such a beautiful and amazing country. Uh, and I love a lot of uh, cars that they have here. They're so amazing, especially like classic ones. And I've already seen a lot. It's, it's pretty awesome. So. Uh, me and my friend, we're gonna go drive down and just uh, travel a little bit uh, here in Japan because we are free today, so we can do that. And uh, later on, we're gonna go ahead and meet up with one of our friends. He's Japanese and he doesn't really speak English much, so we'll have to use a translator. So anyways, but it should be a lot of fun. Uh, he has uh, a couple of really cool cars. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, meet up with him and he's gonna show us one of the, one of some really cool classic Mercedes from the 90s. Stay tuned. <laughs> Like this one this looks old school such an off-road car that car is like brand new Guys, look at this amazing machine. We just came here and this amazing owner actually uh, just came with this amazing C36 AMG. It's such a beautiful car. I really love this car so much. Everything about it, it's a right hand drive. I'm gonna make some, you know, a better video about this car, but it's just such a beautiful car. Um, I honestly love this car. It's a, also a low mileage car and the owner's taking care of this car. Um, it's so amazing. I literally have no words uh, and we kind of we met a while ago but uh, it was just like online thing I think we started like messaging each other and uh, the owner uh, understands English but we have to use a translator a little bit but that's not a big deal but anyways look at this amazing beautiful machine uh, this, is, this is such a rare car it was only about 5,000 of these cars built the C36 AMGs so honestly I'm super in love with this car this is an unmolested car guys this is literally nothing nothing has been like modified on it or uh something else literally this is all oem stock car the exhaust is stock the wheels are stock uh everything is stock on this car and that's what i really love about this car uh literally says c36 and amg on it so <laughs> i'm just drooling it has amg exhaust it has everything um legit legit car and i gotta tell you uh, japanese people they take care of everything they love these cars they love everything so they're awesome <laughs> That's where it's at, the AMG. Hey guys, welcome back to Vios Garage. Thank you so much for stopping by and tuning in. Today we have a special car that I wanted to quickly talk to you about. Uh, we're currently in Japan. Um, I'm here for a short amount of time, not a long time. <laughs> but uh, I really love this car and I just wanted to say that I really love Japan. I love everything about Japanese culture and uh, cars, food nature everything about this country it's amazing and today we have an amazing opportunity to look at this beautiful car it's a c36 amg 
uh, from the 90s. Super legendary car in W202 chassis. And this is a really, really special car that one of my uh, Japanese friends actually, who's living here, uh, let me just, you know, he just brought it and he's showing it to us. But uh, the hood, as you can see, is open. Um, this is a really, really fresh car, guys. This is, Japanese people really take care of things and cars and everything in general. So I really, really love that. But I just wanted to show you this car. This is a C36 AMG. So this is a 3.6 liter engine. This is the engine that is actually legendary. So 3.2, what the engineers did, they took this uh, 3.2 liter engine M104 and they increased the bore a little bit and then they increased the stroke on it. And then they also modified the engine computer module and a couple other things. Uh, they made the exhaust ports a little bigger and things like that. And that's how we have this 3.6 liter engine that produces 276 horsepower. Uh, it, it actually the difference between the 3.2 liter and this 3.6 liter M104 engines are about uh, 86 horsepower. So that's a lot of horsepower. That's like. Uh, a horsepower of Mercedes W123 240D plus 20 horsepower, if you know what I mean, because 240Ds have about 60 horsepower, uh, give it or take. But uh, that's the engine. Uh, everything is stock about this car. As you noticed, this is a right hand drive because the booster and everything is on that side. Uh, the brake booster and master cylinder fuse box is totally completely different on this side. Um, now, if we look at the front of the car, and we see these uh, beautiful headlights, beautiful original headlights. And what's crazy, this is really a rare option. This is uh, uh, the headlight wipers on W202 uh, chassis. This is super beautiful. I love everything about this car and how clean it is and well taken care of. Also, this is Japanese spec W202. So as you can see, it has these fender trims on it right over here. Um, and this this makes this car stand out and look really nice and these beautiful 17 inch uh, AMG wheels also uh, stand out I really love everything about this car uh, other than that this car is like I said it's a right hand drive um, there was about 5200 of these cars produced and then in ninth so they were made in like starting 1993 because they these W202s they um, switched uh, they actually uh, replaced the W201 190E or 190D cars. Um, and this car is pretty powerful. I uh, really, really love this car and how sporty it looks and all that stuff. Uh, I really have, I have no words. And also, like I was mentioning, like it has those trims on the front fenders. It also has the same trims on the rear quarter panels, which is really, really cool. I've never really seen that on a Mercedes. That's a factory thing. Uh, and it has beautiful uh, side skirts right there. Uh, they look different than on just regular W202 uh, Mercedes. Um, everything is super awesome on this car. Um, beautiful rear taillights, as you can see, and your amazing sign, C36. And then on this side, you will have AMG. By the way, this C36 AMG uh, was used in the 90s by uh, they were using this car as a safety car in a Formula One competition. So this car is really, really famous. Um, and anyways, in about 1997, this car was um, replaced by the same chassis, but it was it was a C43 AMG already. So it had an M113 engine instead of M104 3.6 uh, liters. So there was a few differences between pre-facelift and facelift model, but uh, I'm just digging this car. I'm just super grateful for the owner who provided us this car today to look at it and enjoy it on this beautiful sunny day here uh, in Japan. So that's really, really amazing. And as you can see, the exhaust tips right here uh, that's AMG. Um, everything is stock, everything is factory on this car, everything is well taken care of. Um, I really have no words guys and I'm about to show you I'm about to show you the interior of this car also apologize because my microphone is I forgot the adapter on it for it so it's a little bit uh, out of whack so I apologize for that but I just wanted to show you this car I couldn't miss this opportunity to show you this amazing legendary machine uh, it's become, becoming rare and rare every day uh, just because you know not everybody can take care of such amazing machines, but I'm super proud of Japanese owners. Japanese people, they know how to take care of everything. Not just cars, they can take care of 
anything you want probably <laughs> and anything you can think of so amazing so this is how the car looks with the hood closed um, super super amazing you drive this car on the road everybody's looking at you everybody's watching even though this is Japan people are still paying attention because you can as you maybe not all of you know but uh, a lot of cars here in Japan are really tiny and small and they have they don't have huge displacement but whenever you see something like this which is pretty much a beast uh, you know people will really pay attention to these cars and um, yeah what's really really unique is this this car was made specifically for a Japanese market and uh, the fact that this is a right hand drive uh, it's super super cool and obviously like any Mercedes out there it will have this beautiful star uh, that always you just you know you drive this car whether it's right hand drive or left hand drive you're still gonna follow the star you're gonna the star is always gonna be there leading you so honestly have no words I love the fog lamps that this car has I love absolutely everything about this car anyways I don't want to talk too much let's go ahead and try and look at this interior uh, it's flawless you guys will not believe need to see this amazing interior you guys will not believe how clean this car is how well taken care of this car is a real leather AMG seats right here uh, wood real wood the AMG stickers anything you guys want and I know it seems uh, unusual for a lot of you guys who are not from you know Japan or India where they have you know right-hand drive cars uh, however, this is this is really really amazing um, and even the shifter right there has a C36 sign on it. Uh, this is pretty pretty cool and what's crazy is that this is actually a 5-speed automatic transmission so um, super super unique. Everything electrically works on this car. Uh, this is how uh, they used to make cars back then and not in the case of new cars unfortunately. All right, guys, I'm sitting right here and it's just so unusual because I'm not used to this type of, uh, uh, you know, driving, the right-hand drive. I'm used to the left-hand drive, so whenever I sit on the right-hand side, I always think that I'm a passenger, but not in the case of this car. This is really, really cool. Um, obviously, you're in Japan, so, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be driving this car on a test drive or not. I don't want to risk it. Um, Know, so but other than that I really love everything about this car and uh, it's literally if you take if you ever driven one of these cars on the light uh, left you know the ones that are left hand drive the right hand drive is pretty much all the same the gas pedal and brake pedal are on the same side it's just everything is kind of the opposite so the parking brake release is here and this is the, the steering wheel by the way I really love this thing um, the only time that I remember uh, seeing this steering wheel was on uh, uh, W208 chassis, the CLK. Uh, it was in 1999. I used to own one of those cars. Uh, and yeah, it just uh, brings me all the memories and everything. And probably for a lot of you guys, if you guys ever owned uh, one of these cars, whether it's a, it was AMG or just regular W202 C-Class, uh, you guys will probably have some uh, moments uh, that you remember. From those times but other than that everything real wood real wood guys in amazing condition immaculate uh, you know switches power windows everything guys I mean I'm not gonna go over everything honestly but I love everything I love everything about this car it has all the Japanese uh, numbers right here uh, AMG uh, it has all of that uh, there's nothing else I'm gonna talk about guys all right guys now um, like I said everything works on this car this car has 99,000 kilometers uh, literally 99,000 kilometers which is nothing for this car um, it has, so mainly it has about what 50 or 60,000 miles which is literally nothing for this car and like I said everything works on this car flawlessly this car is like in a brand new condition uh, like if you look at the door uh, panels and anything over here any like switches nothing is worn out literally and 
it even has a f like factory stickers and everything still there which is so amazing but mainly uh, what I want to show you is just this uh, you know how it runs and starts and everything which is uh, super cool I think and it, it still it ha even has you know the remote key so you can you know lock it in a lot uh, so you know back in the mid 90s they pretty much introduced that uh, W140 and W202 was one of uh, were one of those chassis that introduced you know the um, remote locks so you could lock it and unlock it uh, easily um, but other than that everything is beautiful I love this car so much so we're gonna try to go ahead and start this car turn the ignition on you hear the buzzer I love the buzzer so much um, this car is amazing guys No warning lights guys, nothing, literally nothing, not even an SRS light on guys, everything is working flawlessly and amazing. And as you can see, if you look at the cluster, the cluster is AMG, so it's literally, you will know what kind of cluster that is, AMG. Look at the steering wheel, the steering wheel st says AMG and it has a little different texture than a regular one. They had these steering wheels in even in uh, W208 uh, chassis and R129s, the later ones. But they did not have this AMG and they were mostly black. This one, as you can see, has a specific texture and colors and everything. It's beautiful. Everything works on this car. It has automatic climate control, uh, heat, AC, everything works. And literally, I I'm super, super proud of the owner and of this car. It's, it's amazing. By the way, the seat controls are right over here, guys. So that's really, really cool. You can move the seat back and forth, back. Everything works. So, super amazing, uh, legendary car. All right guys, so just a couple more things I want to show you about this car and how beautiful it is. Like, look at all these stickers, look how clean it is inside of this fuel door. Uh, look at the uh, fuel filler cap. Uh, it has a sticker and Mercedes logo on it like look how clean all of that is like even my Mercedes W140 when I first got it was super dirty over here and not nice at all this car is just flawless and literally super super beautiful paint is so smooth no scratches nothing no dents guys this is insane and look at these door panels look how amazing they are and the switch and everything, the speakers, like, I have no words, guys, I'm just, it's just so beautiful, like, and obviously this car is so clean, no rust, it's always garage kept, the owner is amazing, the owner takes care of this car, like, crazy, uh, so yeah, super huge respect to him and to everything, guys, you need to remember to save classic cars, if you have a BMW, old school BMW, old school Mercedes, Volvo, whatever you have, Remember, save classic cars. Never give up on them, whatever it is. Love them, and they don't make them like they used to. couple things I've talked to the owner a little bit about this car uh, so he said that he's had it uh, for about four years and he really really uh, you know he loves this car but he told me that you know he also you know he's had some things that he had to fix on it a little bit you know obviously some like slight oil leaks and a couple other things on this car but 
we all know that classic Mercedes are amazing and they're not they were built totally different than the cars that are built nowadays I, you know they don't make them like they used to so uh, I'm really super proud of this car and the owner and everything um, I really have no words I'm just drooling like I always do whenever I see some nice classic German cars I always drool <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's it's just uh, amazing, uh, you know, seeing them alive, seeing them in amazing shapes and well taken care of. So, also I've seen a lot of, you know, I was just wondering, I, I was just searching up on, you know, Japanese market, like to see what kind of uh, Mercedes they have for sale. And a lot of them that they have for sale, they're usually low mileage, under a hundred thousand kilometers, and they're always in immaculate conditions and everything so japan is such an amazing country for these classic german legends speak japanese <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so anyways, this is the amazing owner of this amazing C36 AMG. Uh, I just wanted to say big, very, very thank you. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much for everything, for showing us the car. And the owner actually gave us some amazing, beautiful, fresh apples. Really, thank you so much. Really, thank you so much <laughs> for you. everything, sir. Thank you for showing the car. Thank you for the amazing time, guys. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, thank you so much. So. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video series, but as you can see, I love Japan. I really love Japan. So, sir, thank you. You're yeah. the best. You're amazing. Never sell. Never sell Mercedes. This. Yeah. Always <laughs> keep. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. Yeah. This car. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh. guys so that's it for this video uh, we had a lot of fun today um, we met an amazing Japanese owner of an amazing C36 AMG so uh, it was a lot of fun uh, we went to eat uh, we also grabbed some Starbucks actually I have Starbucks here in the United States that's really um, I mean in Japan <laughs> Uh, so we had a lot of fun guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one